I know many citizens have fears tonight, and I ask you to be calm and resolute, even in the face of a continuing threat. So tonight I announce the creation of a cabinet-level position, reporting directly to me, the Office of Homeland Security. As a direct result of the September 11th attacks, the Bush administration sought to the creation of the USA Patriot Act and the formation of the Department of Homeland Security. The USA Patriot Act circumvents the U.S. Constitution and invalidates most of our treasured rights in this country. It may seem perfectly acceptable to most Americans that they would have to relinquish some of their rights to gain some sense of safety. But somewhere along the way, someone forgot the fact that it's not our government that gives us our freedoms. They are inalienable rights, and they cannot be taken away. The people of the United States have simply been conditioned to give their rights away freely. The USA Patriot Act seems less of a tool to fight terrorism and more of an instrument to monitor and track and intimidate everyday law-abiding citizens in this country. It is a blueprint for a modern-day, American-style Soviet Union. Some in this chamber and in our country did not support the liberation of Iraq. The Patriot Act defines the term domestic terrorism in such broad terms that anyone who might simply speak out about the current administration or engage in political protest could be labeled as a domestic terrorist. When we're talking about chasing down terrorists, we're talking about getting a court order before we do so. The U.S. government can monitor all internet activity and phone conversations of any person, anywhere, anytime. Law enforcement officers have the legal authority to break into your home and conduct sneak and peek searches of your belongings. They can do this at any time, without your knowledge and without your consent. And they can do this without the need for probable cause and without a search warrant. The terrorist threats against us will not expire at the end of the year and neither should the protections of the Patriot Act. U.S. citizens may be incarcerated indefinitely without charges ever being filed, without access to an attorney, without access to the courts, without a phone call, and completely without due process. How did you let this happen? Wake up out there. You know, it's your children. Don't you care? Uh, look what these people are doing to you. The public is being manipulated into adopting these policies because they are not aware they're taking place. They're done at such a high level at the United Nations and at levels above that that the public doesn't even see this taking place. They're more concerned with what's happening in Aruba or they're more concerned about the latest uh, collegiate abduction because that's what they're being force fed from the media and they don't know that there is a world court. The average person has no idea that there's a world court or imminent world police. And that is a sad part, is it's being done without their knowledge. As a psychiatrist, I remember very well the condemnation by the American Psychiatric Association of Soviet psychiatrists and the Soviet Union for their use of psychiatric techniques and psychiatric medications to control political dissidents. Sadly, shockingly, we in the United States have become those same oppressors. We now have a policy, as exemplified by the FBI brochure from the Phoenix Office on Counterterrorism, which says people who are defenders of the U.S. Constitution against federal government and the U.N and make numerous references to the U.S. Constitution should be monitored as potentially murderous and fanatical terrorists, by extension, should be considered mentally unstable. Under the New Freedom Commission, mentally unstable people must be medicated on a compulsory basis with lethal and untested but very profitable psychiatric medications. In this country now, we're seeing drugs cradle to grave. In fact, it's not just in America, it's in other countries also. Children as young as two years of age are being put on certain types of drugs to decrease the amount of their aggressive tendencies. 
when they're evaluated and felt to be just too aggressive at two years of age, they place them on a drug. All the way up and through high school into adults, and of course we know how the adults are being affected by drugs like Prozac, Zoloft, Wellbutrin, and being placed on these for all kinds of reasons. The drugs are being used all the way through the adult period of life into the geriatric. When I was a director of nursing in, in a nursing home, I would see these people being medicated so severely to keep them quiet, to keep them from doing anything, having any feelings. They were easier to maintain in bed than they were to get out. And this is a horrible situation that we have evolved into in this country. And of course, now with Alzheimer's, it makes it even worse, the medication of these elderly people. So we have now a system that finds a reason to medicate everybody. Now this is absolutely bizarre when you consider that freedom of fill in the blank is what this country is all about. And yet, under the guise of a diagnosis, whether it's accurate or not, these people will then be forcibly drugged and helped or hindered, who knows? Who knows what will happen as a result of these de deleterious drugs that are given in combinations and amounts that many times are not safe.